Once a senior bank manager, Teresa Njoroge, was wrongfully accused of theft, which landed her a one-year sentence. She served that sentence with her three-month-old daughter. Teresa was released after eight months after a successful ap appeal cleared her of any wrongdoing. Now, she was compensated for the wrongful imprisonment too, and today Teresa is a CEO and co-founder of Clean Start, through which she gives women behind bars a second chance. She shared her story with me on this week's Women in Power. My name uh, is Fatia, daughter of Jasho, wife of Kamweru. I used to be a banker for many, many years, like 25 years. Then uh, uh, some people stole some money and I was involved by way of holding the keys only. So when we came back after Easter period, we found all the money was gone. So I was locked in at Langata Women Prison for four years. But after remission, I was released by President's pardon. It takes a toll, a toll on, on, on your mentality, on your physical being, and most of all, all your friends. It robs you of your friends. Yeah. And it takes a while for you to reintegrate back to the society. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking for me up to today, despite being out for almost six years, going to my seventh, I don't know who I am. My name is Teresa Njoroge, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Clean Start. Clean Start is a social enterprise that works to empower and inspire women and girls coming from correctional institutions here in Kenya. We work with the Kenya Prison Service as partners, we work with the Department of Children's Service and uh, probation and aftercare. We go into these institutions, we empower these girls, we empower these women, we take, a, we take them through uh, our core program which is called the SPEAR program. Upon release from prison, we then connect uh, those dots and build a bridge, so to speak, for them post-imprisonment to rebuild their lives. Some of them go back into education, others start businesses, and others we try and get them apprenticeships or in, in, internships. Some of these women and some of these girls are in prison with their children. And, some of, and most of them have left their children on the outside, unattended. So we have a department at Clean Start that looks into the affairs and well-being of the children. I set up Clean Start after a very traumatic experience. Um, I had been imprisoned for a year at uh, Langata Women Maximum Prison and I served my one year sentence accompanied by my three month old firstborn daughter. And this experience was very traumatizing. Approximately about 70% of the women who are in there were either there due to the same case like I, miscarriage of justice, <laughs> lack of legal representation, on short sentences of, you know, she was loitering and clearly, she, or hawking, she was trying to make ends meet and seeing these women come in and out of prison over and over again, I say to myself, as I fight, f you know, to get my justice, let me fight with the other women as well. Fatia started by making mandazis from a bank manager, a, a, a senior bank employee struggling to get her family back in shape and in order, affected health-wise because of the trauma that that experience was. But you know what? She's been resilient enough to keep going, you know, start with one of these stalls, and now she has three. Embrace us, reintegrate us, don't stigmatize us.